Hi everyone, welcome to Suresh Techs. If you are visiting our channel for the first time or if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe Suresh Techs. And in our previous tutorial, we had seen the reviewing of all the four lessons we had completed till now. And in this session, we will look into few basic styles which are available in HTML. Now to style an element, what do you need to do? You need to provide something extra to the element. So that is called an attribute. And how do we provide an attribute? We provide an attribute to the starting tag of an element. Right, so this we had already seen. If you want to specify or if you want to provide attribute that has to be in the starting tag. Now this is how it looks like. Tag name and then this is called the attribute. And here the attribute name is style and the followed by a value. Here the value for the style attribute should be property colon followed by value. So how do we do this? Let us let us see few styles available. So these are the basic styles that one should know to style a basic page. That's why I'm just telling about this. But going further, I am going to explain much more things about the styles. But for now, just to understand about the styles, let us go through all these different styles available in HTML. Now let me create a new file. I'll start it with doc type HTML because this is HTML page and then followed by HTML opening and closing tag. I'll give you a body and then I'll have a head. I'll keep a title. I hope you guys are getting it because we had seen all this stuff already. Now let me save this. I'll save it as styles.html. I'll change the save as type to HTML. Awesome. Now now let us open this project. Styles opening with Chrome. Right, currently there is nothing, but this has been changed so rest act because we had changed the title. Now if you want to provide some styles to the page which we are currently working on, let us do some stuff. Now let us modify this. So as I said earlier, so this is the body, whatever you write inside the body that is going to be displayed in your page. Now let me change the background color of the body. I'll give, first of all, if you want to change the background color, we need to give a property called style. Now the value, the value should be property followed by colon and then the value. Now what is the property? So the property should be background color and the value should be the color that you are going to apply. Let's give blue and let me check it. I just saved it and I'm refreshing this. Right, it's been changed to blue now. So this is how it works. So this is how, now let me change it to some other. So these are the default colors available from the HTML. Now let me give something called maroon and see. Now I'll change this to maroon. Awesome. So we, now we are able to change the background color of the body. Right. So we are applying a color to the body. Now let me give heading. Okay. I will give Suresh text. Awesome. Now let me refresh this. So this this is this is what displaying, right? Now, now if I want to align, if I want to align this heading to the middle of this row, how do I do this? So there is some other property called. So there is some other property called text align, and the value should be the center because I want this thing to be center. Right, so this is how it works. So we are dealing with the style attribute now. So using the style attribute, we can style, we can style the HTML page, right? So we had seen about background color and then the text alignment property. Now, let us see a few more. Consider you have a paragraph. Okay, I am working on styles today. Okay, so consider this is your paragraph. If you refresh this, it looks something like this. Okay, so this is the default text size for a paragraph. But 
if you want to change the font size there is some other property called font size okay by default the font size is 100 percent is that's the default value now if you want to double it or if you want to triple the size of the font size then you can do it using the percentage if you want to double the size of the font size then you could say 200 percentage it's basically you are doubling the size of the font now if you refresh this right and the font size got doubled now you just align this to the center now to provide a new property now to provide a new value to the attribute you could do that using a semicolon you could separate the values using semicolon here you can give some different property and value combination so i'll give something called text align center okay if i refresh this now right this has been allied in the center right this has been aligned in the center now if you want to change the color if you want to change the color of the text you can do that using color property color followed by the color value i had given here white and let's check it now right it's changed it to white color so this is how it works so we had seen about the background color we had seen about the text alignment and then we had seen about the font size and then the color so these are some basic styles available in html so if you know all these basic styles you can change the style of your page now let us open so this is what we had seen so one more thing one more thing here is fonts how to change the font right let's change the font now if i want to change the font of the heading right there is one more property called font family so there are different so there are there are different fonts available such as vedana times new raman courier etc let me give something called courier and if i refresh this now right this this has been changed to courier font so these are some so th that's how it works so these are some basic styles available in html if you want to change the style of your page if you want to apply some minimum style to the page you are currently working on these are the basic styles available and that's it for today please do subscribe to so rest thank you so much